So as you went through this process and saw Dwayne Casey's name uh, become available, how much were you telling Tom, listen, this has got to be our guy? Yeah, I mean, I didn't know if we got lucky or the good Lord sends, <laughs> sent a nice message to us, but to have the coach of the year available is unusual in, in, in any sport. And uh, I've coached, excuse me, I was with Case for a couple years in Toronto. So I know the guy, um, he's great at X and O's, He's a great relationship guy, but he's even a better person. And I think that's real important. Uh, for me, it's extremely important. And talking to Tom, he's all about family, too. So uh, I think we got very fortunate. And I already uh, going out to L.A. where the players are working out, uh, you, you could tell they're very excited about uh, Case here. I imagine you wouldn't tip your hand on a possible trade or any sort of personnel move that you guys would make, especially not to a local TV interview. But <laughs> Where basketball is going, what you guys have talked yeah. about, uh, and what we all see with this roster is that it is loaded in the front court. And with two premier players and two big contracts like that up front, is there a possibility, do you think, in the future to perhaps move Andre's contract, to at least look at to move one of those three contracts to open things up to maybe the way you and Dwayne want to build this roster? Well, I'm more excited right now about seeing how it's going to play out. Okay. Uh, when we interviewed everyone, uh, it was very important for them to get, and I put them on the board, X and O's, they had to get up there to tell me how they were going to play, as I said, the money. Yeah. How they're going to play Drummond and Blake and Reggie, because that's the money, they're our core guys, and I've been in a, a lot of franchises, when you have three core guys like that, that's impressive. So uh, we're looking forward to them, and, and being out there to watch Blake Griffin work out and his ball handling skills and everything, I don't see the big problem with having him and Drummond together. I heard uh, Casey say in an interview, I think it was Stephen A. Smith the day he was hired, to let him run the point a little bit and to move the ball a little bit. Was that, did, well, I, yeah, did I read it, that right? It, it, it's called DHOs, dribble handoff. Yeah. And big fellas like to have that ball once in a while. If you're going to get the big fella to take a seven foot, 300 uh, pound body up and down the court, they want to handle the ball. So you bring them outside and they dribble handoff, get the ball to them where they like it. Uh, Case understands that, mm -hmm. and you have to give the big guy a little sugar once in a while because he's going to get 20 <laughs> plus rebounds, and he's you know going to do all the dirty work. Uh, give Andre, and I, I think there's a big upside for Andre. Yeah, do you? Yeah, I really do. I I think uh, he's a good kid. I met him, and uh, I think he's a hard worker. And anybody who had struggled like he did the foul line to increase that in one year, that advantage, you got to give the guy a lot of credit for that. Not many guys could go from 36 to 62 or something, whatever he did, that's a huge increase. He came into this into this organization at a time where it was in transition. He now is at a point where he's a leader and yeah. still in another transition point. How much do you think a new regime can, can help him in his confidence? Because he's taken heat here as the guy in the face of this franchise before Blake came in last year. Well, I think Blake's going to help him a lot. Yeah. Yeah, to bring Blake in, Blake takes uh, pressure off any team he would go to, he's going to take pressure off. Uh, and I, so I think uh, Blake helps him. Uh, Andre, uh, he's only 24 years old, so he's still scratching the surface. And again, you, you can't find many guys that can pull 20, 20 plus rebounds down. So, and you have to be really tough to rebound the ball in the NBA that many rebounds. John Beeland has talked about the process of talking with you guys. We cover him and his program yeah. so closely. How much did he impress you throughout this process? Well, John Beeline is so good on the board. It was a joke offensively. I learned so much. I'm not a coach, but I'm a former high school coach, so I feel I know a little bit. His X and O's were so, he demanded it. And I, I grew up in Philly where we had some great coaches in uh, Ramsey, Chuck Daly. I played for Chuck Daly. I played for Rolly Massimino. Some great names out there. And Beeline reminded me so much of my Philly coaches that he could fit in right there and we could talk hoops all day. I will. I, they tell me Ann Harbor's close here, so I hope Beeline doesn't mind, but I'll be up there a lot because I like to pick his brain because the guy, is yeah. he's, br he's brilliant. He yeah. really is. How, how did that process all come about? I mean, who made the first one? Well, I said I was in Memphis uh, two years ago, and we were looking for head coach and Beeline right off the bat, but we couldn't, no chance he was coming to Memphis. Just the only, he, he wanted to talk about the job because it was Detroit. Yeah. That's the only reason. And once we were going through a process, and it was a, uh, a process we had to make sure we got and vetted a lot. He finally felt that it, he has a great job. Yeah, Michigan's yeah. terrific. He's got a great class, he told me, coming in. And he said, you know, the best thing for me is to stay at Michigan. So uh, it was his decision to pull out, not uh, not us saying you're not getting a job. But no doubt in your mind he could coach in the NBA. Oh, there is zero doubt in my mind.